let's go ahead and do an intro to a SketchUp on one acre of ground. We're going to start using SketchUp. I'm going to use 2013 for this. I'm going to leave this man here for a moment so you can see the scale. But I'm going to start with my rectangular tool. I'll pull it out. And then I'm going to type in dimensions. On my keyboard, I'm going to type in 208 feet, comma, 208 feet, and enter. That's one acre of ground. I'll use my zoom extent so you can see just how small this guy is on the side. Now I'm going to make an area for my uh, house. So I'm going to do an L-shaped house. Let's see how far do I want to come back. Let's take a look and we'll see how far is that? 37, oh, around 40 feet or so. I'll go ahead and use the same tool, the rectangle tool. I'll start out and I'll make this rectangle um, 40 by 60. And I'll make it 40 by 50. 40 feet, comma, 50 feet, enter. Now 40 by 50, that's 2,000 square feet right there. So let me add another section on here. Uh, this one I'll do maybe 30 by 30. So let's see what happens when I do that. Uh, 30 feet, comma, 30 feet, enter. So now you can see I have, a, have the house. I can make it a little longer if I want to. But I'm going to come in and I'm going to raise it up. Before I do that, I'll use the eraser tool. I'll erase the center line. I'll go to my push-pull tool, and I'll start to raise that up. Uh, I'm going to make this a two-story, so I want to make this, um, I'll say, 25 feet. 25 feet, enter. Now I have it 25 feet. I can make the roof a little bit later. But now I have the area where my house is going to be. I have about a 5,000 square foot home right here. It's, it's pretty impressive. And so I'm going to make a nice swimming pool in the back. So to start with that, let's go ahead and start with a pool. And I'm going to want to have a little deck area first. So why don't I just go ahead and expand out from this a little ways. Um, maybe here. I'm going to just kind of do a rough guesstimate. And you can see I missed that. So I'm just going to come over here to where it's straight. And now I'm going to erase off the extra part that I don't need. Now I have an area for uh, a patio. And now I'll add my swimming pool a little bit further away from the house. Uh, to do that, I'll start out. And I will make this square about the same length as the house. But I'm not just happy with the square. I'm going to make this a little bit different. I'll add some arches on the corners here there pull it out I think I'll add a section right here here there pull it out maybe make an area for steps or someone to be able to step in do the same thing here make sure as you're doing it you're on the same plane if not it will come up in the air and it will look really funny so now I can start to drop off some um, areas right here. Uh, another thing I like, since this will be my deep end, I want to put another area right here on the side where people can kind of swim to and walk out. So I'll just add a little area there. And this is simple, basic. You can change things if you need to. Uh, let's go ahead and add our decking area. We'll go to the set tool on our edge and we'll pull out just like that it looks pretty nice and that's going to be the area for the tile to go around for the surround on the pool I'll drop my swimming pool down in just a little bit so you can see it and I can add water now if you look at this this gives you your basic house patio you have your swimming pool 
And if you want to put some fencing around the outside edge, which a lot of people do, and it's a good idea, let me show you how to do that, and then I'll terminate this video. So I'll use the hand tool. I'll kind of move it to the side. I'll come up. I'm going to come up with my blue axis. I'll come over here and do the same thing with my blue axis. I'll click, bring it over, and this is the area that there's going to be a fence on. So I'm going to go to my materials, window materials, and I'll move it out of the way so you can see the area for the fence. I'll choose uh, fencing in the newer version that's actually in with a few other things, but it has some of the same fences. So click here with fence, click over on the side, and you can see there's a fence. I'm not sure how high that is. If I want to decide, I can come over here and I click here, go up to there. That's 18 feet. That's that's kind of a bit much. So I'll come back and about the midpoint, about 9 feet. That's still quite a fence, but I don't want people coming into the swimming pool and drowning that aren't supposed to be there. I don't want anybody drowning in the pool, so there we go. Now we have a fence, and it's, it's about 9 feet high, and we can continue that all the way around quite easily. If I come up here and I look, you can see that it gives me a trajectory across so I know just how far to put the fence, and I can continue with the fence all the way around when I'm ready. Uh, for a sidewalk, you need to have some sort of sidewalk or drive. That's also quite easy to do. Uh, you can do anything from a uh, freehand sketch, like if I were to take and pull this out like this and kind of follow along. Looks kind of like a path for my concrete. And then maybe come over with a straight edge so that it was inside and looked good. Let's see. I can't really see what I'm doing there, so I'm going to undo that. Control Z. I'll orbit around, come out to the edge, and of course erase what I don't want. You can see at this point, I have the basic workings of a building on an acre of ground. Thank you.